everyone, I'm Joanne with Quiet Waters Farm and Craft. So I figured I'd take a couple minutes out today. I've been doing a lot of cooking videos or baking videos. Um, I've done some sugar scrubs and stuff like that, but I kind of figured um, a couple weeks ago I made a video on some um, Vicks shower bombs or shower melts, and I also did a medicated foot soak and I made it with just fix Vapor Up. So I figured I would take a few minutes out of my day to kind of explain a few things that you could do with Vicks Vapor Rub. Now, if you don't want to pay the full price for a Vicks Rub, because at the store it could be anywhere from two to five dollars, depending on the size that you get, but you can also go to other stores, and I go to the Dollar Tree, and I get this, it's just called Vaporizing Chest Rub, which it's the exact same thing as Vicks, but I'm just not spending that same amount um, I'm actually getting it for a cheaper price for just a dollar. Um, so there is so many benefits to this because, you know, there's people out there that do not want to use medication. They want to use um, other things that either don't cost as much or stuff that they don't want to put in their body. So I just figured I would talk a few things about that. You know, obviously we use this for the common cold. Um, you know, we put it on our chest, we put it on our feet, we put it on our shoulder blades, especially when we have that horrible cough or we can't breathe and we have nasal problems. You know, you can use it, uh, you can also put it right underneath your nose um, to help clear up that sinus um, area. But some other things that you can do if you have like the aromatherapy or you have the wax melts that are in your house, you know, you could take this and put it in there. If everybody in your house has a cold, you know, put that in there and then you can just clean it, clean them out when you're done. But that way the whole house is pretty much like an infection killer. Um, so that's one way that you could do that. You know, another way is um, the shower melts or the shower bombs, whatever you want to call them. Um, I made a video on that, so you will have to check that one out. Something very simple to make. Um, uh, and I've used them before. They work really great. I've given them to my family, um, so that way it can help with their colds. You know, another thing that you could do is some of you that work out or you're in sports and or your kids that are in sports, and they have achy muscles when they come home, you know, just warm up a towel in the microwave and then take some of this when they when you pull it out and wipe on it and put on their achy muscles. It will help a lot with the pain because of the menthol that's in that. And you know, a lot of this that helps is because of the menthol that is in the, um, the Vicks Vapor Rub. Another thing is, you know, in the winter time, springtime, fall time, we get those heavy winds and kids can get earaches or they're just not dressing properly um, and they, they get an earache. So just take a little bit of this and put on a, a cotton ball and stick in their ear and that should help with the pain um, of the earache. Another thing that you can do is, like me, I bruise so easy. So if you bruise really easy, you can take a little bit of this and mix it with some salt and rub it in your bruises um, for a couple minutes and then wash it off, especially if you have like those purple bruises. Um, they do help with relieving that. Um, any of you that have eczema, really dry skin, this is a great thing because sometimes eczema can be really painful, so the menthol in this can help relieve that inflammation that's in your body. Um, you know, just like with burns, like in, like the other day, I mean, I have a little burn spot right here from when I took um, some uh, bread out of the oven and I hit the top rack, and so I just took this and I put on there that menthol will help relieve that burning pain. Um, for you ladies out there, or even you gents out there, maybe you've lost weight, or um, you ladies that have had a baby and you have stretch marks, um, something like this, when you go to bed, just apply it for two weeks, and it should help um, get rid of some of those stretch marks. might not take it all the way away, but it will help. You know, that stretch mark um, lotion and creams and all that stuff, it's so expensive. Well, this only costs a dollar. So, you know, it might take a little bit longer, but you're only spending a buck and it's something that you can just rub on your body right before you go to sleep and you don't even worry about it. Um, any of you that have warts on your feet, um, you can apply this either at bedtime or after you get up for work, uh, before you put your socks on, just stick this on there, just like with toe fungus. Um, you're under your toenails, those of you that have it, or if you have a yellowing 
um, toenail, just take some of this, put it on your toes, um, you know, just before you put your socks on because it's best to have something that's wrapped around it. And some people don't like to sleep with socks, some people do. So, you know, that's why I say before you go to work, you know, just put this stuff on, you know, take your shower in the morning, get this stuff on there, and then get your socks on and it's wrapped up to where that menthol stays in there and it helps work to prevent that inflammation on your feet. And that's the same with cracked heels um, with that dry skin there, you know, same thing. You can either do it at night or you can do it in the morning, but you wanna do it for at least 10, to, 10 days to 14 days, so about two weeks. Um, if you have really bad acne, now this could be horrible smelling this all the time, but, um, and, and it has to be applied multiple times during the day. Um, so acne, you know, I, not recommending it, but if you're a person that has really bad acne and you've tried every kind of thing, you know, you might give this a try where you can put it on in the morning, put it on when you get home from school or work, and then put it on before you go to bed. Um, you know, try that out. Now, if you have some wounds, you know, where you can get a scrape or a scar or something, um, you know, if you don't have any Neosporin, then you can take this because this is great um, to help fight that bacteria and germs. Um, so you can always give this a try. Um, the next thing is bugs outside. You know, everybody hates bugs. They drive you absolutely crazy. You know, you could take this and put a little bit around the rim of your shirt. You could put it around the cup of your sleeve. You can put it on, you know, if you have leggings or jeans or shorts, you know, put them on the rim of those. You know, take a little bit and put on your wrist right on the back of your neck, maybe your ear or your ankles. Um, those are great targets um, for bugs to come or put them on your knees. If you're wearing shorts, it's a great bug repellent. You know, some people say that you can use dryer sheets, but I don't want to walk around with a dryer sheet. So, you know, if you take a little bit of Vicks Vapor Rub, um, you can help that. And it also does help with bug bites too. After you get bit, the menthol does help with um, trying to keep that itchiness down. Um, so you might give that a try. Um, now, if you have animals in the house, like dogs and cats, and if they, you know, decide to squat and pee somewhere that you don't want them to, like maybe on your favorite rug that you've washed a million times because they keep peeing on it, we'll take a little bit of this and wipe on the rim of the um, rug or on the corner of the carpet if they are. Um, they don't like the smell of this stuff. They absolutely hate it. So if you put this on there, then that will hopefully get rid of your animal peeing in your house and not having to replace that expensive um, rug or tablecloth or, you know, even if the animals are scratching on your furniture, just take a little bit of this and wipe on the inside of it. They'll smell it because they're always going to smell something before they start scratching it or biting it. So even on your table legs or your chair legs, um, take a little bit of this and put on there. It works great. Um, and the last thing that I want to talk about is if you are a horse owner um, and you race your horses, um, this is a great thing because horses can be distracted by mares all around them and that wants to cause them not to race very well. So you put this right by their nostrils and they smell this, they don't smell the mare. So that is less distraction for them so they can win that race. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I know there's tons more ways out there that Vicks Vapor Rub helps you, but this only costs a dollar and can be used for so many methods. So if you guys have anything that you use this for, put that down in the comments below because I would love to hear different things what you use your Vicks Vapor Rub for. So just remember, you know, you can go to the Dollar Tree and pick this up for a buck, or you can go to your common store and get it and pay a little bit more. So if you have a coupon, you know, that's always great. Love coupons. So I hope that you all have a blessed day and thank you for watching.